Hello, dear explorers. Nice to see you again, or nice to see you for the first time, if it's the first time we meet. I'm Adela, and here is Liana, my friend. Hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. And together we started the series uh, about working on the priestess energy, the powerful presence of the priestess. Uh, we already did two of uh, these magical courses. One of them was about the Virgo priestess. One of them was about the Scorpio priestess. And now we are at uh, the Capricorn priestess. Mm -hmm. And we uh, found the name for it, the Capricorn priestess, because the crone is one of the archetypes that is activating this uh, astrological energy. So um, I invite Liana to tell us a bit about how she feels the Capricorn energy and uh, how do you feel about this whole priestessy <laughs> energy? Yes. While we were uh, preparing the, um, the workshop, uh, I was uh, telling Adela that it's one of the most challenging uh, archetypes for me. <laughs> And the Capricorn and the governor of um, Capricorn, which is Saturn, because it comes with this um, kind of a teacher wise um, examiner, like it puts you to, through some tests uh, in order for you to get initiation or uh, in order for you to redo <laughs> your homework. And it's not a very pleasant uh, place to be when you are tested. Um, also, um, I found out that it very much depends on the, um, the way we approach the test. And um, if we manage to, to understand that it comes as a support, sometimes we would like very much to have some, some things or experiences, but uh, actually we're not quite ready for them. And uh, then Saturn is helping us to uh, stay in our place until we are uh, mature and ripe enough to go and uh, explore some uh, new territories, inner or outer territories. And uh, for the part of uh, the priestess in this, uh, in this role, the priestess who is um, inspired by Capricorn, uh, it's a very kind of a responsible, um, old and wise kind of an archetype. Uh, which um, doesn't uh, has a lot of patience, doesn't rush out with things, and is very connected to the organic old order of uh, things. Like it, it's a Capricorn, it's a, in it's an Earth sign, and it uh, it knows the law of the material plane as much as it knows the role of the the cosmic, the divine plane. So. Um, it kind of balances them and uh, it's patient with uh, merging them together. So this is this is my take on uh, on this archetype. Thank you for sharing it. And I know it was one that provoked us both because it, uh, it's even deeper than the Scorpio one. It goes even uh, digging deeper than, than the Scorpio one. Um, I have three, per, not personal, but transpersonal <laughs> placements in Capricorn. So I felt the energy and the transits a lot. Uh, and even in the Jinkies, I guess, most of the activations are in the Capricorn area. Um, for me, what was fascinating about uh, working with the priestess-like energy or the priestess archetype and different type of archetypes in, in the chart, um, mm -hmm. I found that the priestess is not something you know untouchable and mythical and just something very strange. We can all be priestesses and we are all priestesses and it's a very normal type of energy and getting in contact with that kind of inner, <laughs> inner power, that's uh, what we would like to do with our courses, get closer to that inner something, inner light. <laughs> inner priestess light. So the Capricorn, from my point of view, we, we tried to make four uh, big lessons or four, uh, four points in, in working with the Capricorn energy. I will talk about two of them and Diana will talk about two of them. So for me, what one of the biggest surprises when working with a Capricorn priestess was uh, seeing its duality, seeing the duality of Capricorn. Uh, even the symbol, one of the symbols, um, um, even the Capricorn as a symbol, um, half a goat, 
half is like a sea creature, even that duality, or looking towards um, the past and in the same way being in the present or even the future. So it has a, a duality in it, not the Gemini-like Gemini -like duality, but it also has this um, dual nature. Uh, I also find interesting the sexual energy of the Capricorn and many times all, all priestess archetypes have this sexual, strong sexual energy and the Capricorn has a lot of power in that earth-like element. And the shape-shifting part of the Capricorn I find interesting because it can go and work with different uh, moments in time. That's, that's something that really surprised me. The second part that uh, I really enjoyed working with was seeing the Capricorn as a kind of tester, <laughs> testing force. Even the Scorpio does a lot of tests, but the Capricorn goes on a deeper level, as I said. It tests um, the way we react, the way we work with time. It wants to make us wise. And the way it makes us wise might be through a lot of testing. It's like, are you patient enough to get that resources? Are you patient enough to leave that kind of inner wiseness you have. So these two are the ones that really fascinated uh, me and I first felt uh, the call to work with them. What are the next two? <laughs> well, the next two are uh, the side of being a temple builder that uh, we perceived Capricorn has. Um, it's, uh, it's connected to the divine architecture and structure. And this is why in uh, its highest frequency can actually build sustainable structures that can hold the spirit. And this is why we, we thought about the temple. So Capricorn is uh, not so much um, a sign that is connected with the material like the Taurus, like it's, it's about uh, enjoying the senses. It's more about uh, the material in terms of structures that are going towards the the divinity, the sky, and um, having uh, temples as places where you can connect with the divine or where you can learn, like wisdom, wisdom uh, places, wisdom temples, libraries, uh, where the sacred knowledge and the ancient wisdom is, uh, is actually kept. And uh, also uh, being able to manage the resources needed for that, including the fact that we need a lot of time. <laughs> Probably the, the pyramids were built by Capricorns as well. <laughs> and very strategical. <laughs> very strategic, exactly. And um, the last aspect is um, the timekeeper, the timekeeper or time master. Um, I see this archetype as being able to, to actually bend time or go beyond time because um, it has been um, here from a very ancient era. This is how I feel it. And it's also able to see in the future. Uh, the wise man or the, even the crone are able to see the future, even though they don't talk too much about the past or the future. They, um, it's, it's part of their um, initiation process. They will only reveal um, that which is needed to those who really need it or are ready for it. And um, it has um, a kind of an interdependence with the shapeshifter. Like we can see, I see the crone archetype or the wise man archetype as being able to take different ages. Like yeah. you see in the, in the story, in the myths, um, the hero goes on the road and at one point it meets an old man and at another point it meets a young woman and at another point it meets a child, but it's actually the same uh, the same teacher who comes in uh, various uh, shapes to it's the same Capricorn. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, but um, what we concluded is that we usually see see this archetype as an old man or woman because uh, it's much easier for our psyche to understand that it's something ancient. When we see mm -hmm. something that's uh, an old face, we we have a kind of a reverence and respect. But actually, they could be any age. So, yes, thank you for, for pointing the structure. <laughs> and uh, we invite you all, um, women or men, because we had this wonderful surprise of having men uh, that want to explore the priest-like energy. 
So if you have Capricorn placements or if you feel drawn to this archetype or um, have Capricorns in your life and would like to work with this, this energy, feel free to, to join us. And if you cannot come when the webinar will be uh, available this weekend or will be live this weekend, you will find the resources on the platform so you can keep up with information in your own time. Yes. Thank you for watching and thank you for being. <laughs> Yes, thank you. And the one more thing I want to add, uh, what happens during our uh, meeting is like um, we have uh, this sharing of perspectives and insights, sometimes from um, point of views that uh, we never consider regarding a certain uh, sign, a certain astrological sign, or uh, even uh, uh, this archetype of the priestess. And we also talk about uh, practical stuff, things that you can use if you resonate with this, uh, things that you can use to bring it more into your day-to-day -day life. Um, and also, I think we will touch uh, on the, um, the gene keys and the gates in human design that are activating this, um, the Capricorn, so we, we can uh, uh, bring the essence of those wisdom as, as well. Yes, we will indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.